Hey, welcome back on how to change a John boat trailer into a kayak trailer. I got an Old Town PDL 120 for my wife for Christmas, and I'm gonna get me one, so I need to make a trailer where I can double deck them. And what I'm doing now is, uh, let's bring it a little closer, and I'm gonna twist it off one of the rusty nuts. Like I told you guys and gals before, this is not hard. Now you see this set of nuts and that set of nuts, and maybe you can see the little U-bolt. Let me take you off the tripod here. Go down under here. You can see, you can see the U-bolt going down. That's pretty much all that's holding this trailer on. So I've already loosened them up by at least a half inch. I've got a, about a half inch of slack in there. And this is not hard, so don't freak out. You can do it. Let's put this back here out of the way so I don't... Well, I guess I can put you on the other side so you don't get a picture of my back. Uh, I can give you a nice dizzying ride there. I almost can't even lift my legs up high enough to do this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the winch to pull the boat up. Or the winch that pulls the boat up. And let me show you one thing right quick. Once, once I loosen the U-bolts up for this long piece of square pipe that holds the trailer together, you can see down there, you see the gap right here? It's because it's twisted over this way. And the reason that it's twisted is because, let's see. We have it on this wheel stand jack right here. So you can see how that's leaning. And that's just because everything's loose. So what we want to do here is uh, you could, if you don't have this, you could take that and fold it up and lay it down. But we're going to pull this jack out. And hook it to the bottom as close to the center as you can. Um, you might could hook it here, I guess. We'll have to experiment and find out. Let's see. Where y'all? Where are y'all looking? Okay. Be like Neil Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not guaranteeing this is going to work. We're going to find out. Hmm. It's working a little bit, but I didn't. Oh my. All right, so I'm going to loosen that up. I forgot about the brake wires. I'm going to go and cut the brake wires, and then we'll, let's see, tail the brake wires. Tail, not brake wires, tail light. Tail light wires. Because I don't want to rip them. That's terrible. I forgot about those. I got excited. So let's go back again. A little pressure on it. Hello, McFly. Come on. Here we go for a little dizzying ride. I'm gonna shake you up a little bit. Sorry about that. We'll tighten up the bolts. And on this particular kind of trailer, you can see this bolt right here. And what that's for is keep that from sliding back. So let's say we're gonna, we want it right here where it is. I'll cut it off right about here. And then I'll drill a hole there and put another one of these bolts in there so that it can never slip back a little bit. And then tighten my U-bolts down and hold the trailer on. But I think what I wanna do is buy some new, new ones of these. 
Oh, that's a terrible view. I'm sorry about that. Let's see. I think I'm gonna get a new, a new bolt clamp, as many of these new nuts and bolts as I possibly can, because you got two kayaks on here at 25 bucks a piece, 2,500 dollars a piece, thereabouts. It's not exactly. <clears throat> and then plus some gear on it. You don't want all that stuff falling apart and breaking on you on the road, or even worse, breaking on the way to the fishing spot, and then you get stuck on the side of the road dealing with that. You gotta leave somebody with the kayaks. Hopefully you have somebody with you while you go to the store and find parts to put all this back together because it broke on the road. All right, thanks for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so if, um, you know, every time I have a video come out, it should notify you. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.